Fala aí galera, trazendo aqui mais um vídeo pro canal e hoje trazendo aqui a sétima parte de gameplay do Batman Tetel 3 Series Estamos aqui na Torre Wayne Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. To what do I owe the pleasure, Regina? I'm sorry, I just needed to clear my head. Sort things out. In my office? I know it's irregular, but it's nice to have a reminder of the Waynes every once in a while, in all their glory. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... What my father... I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to hear. The whole city is watching to see what our next move is going to be. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now. I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce. You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall. I appreciate the cinema, Regina. Thank you. I mean what I said before. Families like ours need to flock together. Perhaps now, more than ever. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. O Bruce Wayne tem mais um esconderijo na Wayne Tet, quero dizer, Torre Wayne. Good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. I don't need to worry about the board. I've got plenty of money. We'll make do. Uh, plenty now, but still not enough for all of this. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news? 
or the bad news, uh, you're not gonna like it. Well, no shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using? I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. I'm gonna keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Confira as melhorias e eu curto a sua tecnologia do morcego. Beleza, bora ver aqui umas upgrades. Something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Thermal vision. <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. I guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do, Here, get that back to the bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting.
Mr. Wayne. Ruth, open up. I thought maybe you left. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I ask to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. I will do whatever's best for the company. You know that. I know you well enough by now, Bruce. Don't do anything you'll regret. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? Wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. You might want to check your facts, Regina. That resume sounds a little too good to be true. You might want to have more confidence in your own board. His resume checks out, and his references were all glowing. You're quite welcome to call them yourself. That won't be necessary. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. Bruce! I need security in here right now. No, oh, what was that This is for? a disaster. You've lost your bloody mind. Bruce, stop this. Oh, for heaven's sake, calm down. Get him out of my office. Let's I'm go. I'm so sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. I'll go fetch the medic. That's very kind of you, Regina. Thank you. É, eu tive que socar o, o pinguim, porque aí ele foi muito babaca destruir o troféu do Bruce. Bruce, they're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't.
can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius... I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our Psy project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But... You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. Keep that drive safe. speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. Yeah, I wouldn't mind easy for a change. Someday. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Ok, tem o tribunal, prefeitura e sanatório de Arkham e polícia de Gotham. Bora ver aqui a prefeitura. City Hall, record of Gotham mayors. Bill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot, deceased two weeks before the election. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor, security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? 
Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Uh, Harvey? Uh, back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat, I'll be right out. Oh, come on, not today. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, God, to stop. You, uh... You need some help back there? Uh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, Bruce, I've been looking forward to this my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. Glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. You want to tell me what's going on? I didn't keep you waiting that long, did I? Look, don't freak out, but... I think the children of Arkham are listening in on you. You're in danger. They could have tabs on everything that goes on in this office. Who you're talking to, where you're going, everything. Damn it! God, I knew it. I knew it had to be true. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. Damn it! Those children of ours can jump me. God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. I can't stop it. Well, Harvey, you drew attention to yourself with that speech. You need to be more careful. And careful is what got us into this mess. Harvey Dent does everything by the book, to the letter of the law. But that isn't working. I'm sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Watch me. Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Her Harvey, snap out of it. We all need to snap out of it! Sorry. S sorry about that, Bruce. Guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. Look, we're both under a lot of stress right now. We, we should be able to lean on each other. Stronger together, right? It's the only way. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce, don't tell anyone about this. If anyone finds out or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor, your secret's safe with me, Harvey. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. <sighs> I'm 
See you around, Bruce. Interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Vicky might end up giving Bruce Wayne the runaround. After all, a reporter rarely reveals her source. But an interview with Batman, that might be enough to sway her. After all, it did work with Mayor Hill. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman. I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction, especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. The children of Arkham heard you too. They don't deserve your protection. Hmm. That's not up to me to decide. I have to remain unbiased. Something you should learn to do. What does that mean? I'm talking about Bruce Wayne. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. 
Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. That's enough questions. <sighs> Fine. If that's how you feel. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> I can make you talk. I'm sure you could. I tried to help you. You didn't want to play. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Galera, eu vou encerrar o vídeo aqui e na próxima continuaremos na oitava parte de gameplay. Não se esqueça de se inscrever, deixar um gostei, compartilhar e divulgar o meu canal para o pessoal. Ok? Valeu e falou!